If you're a Texas landowner and you're interested in improving the quality of the genetics on your ranch, you can contact me at DeerAndWildlifeStories.com. Goodness gracious. There's no doubt who solid gold is now, but I want to know who are those guys with him? Those are all yearlings in there. Bull! Yes, sir. Solid gold in his pen of yearlings. You've got to be I mean, kidding me. They're, they're out of different sires, but they're all yearlings. Holy smokes. Yes, sir. We're, we're Can we get any closer than this? Oh, yeah. We all right, let's ease there. up there and get closer. Yes, sir. That is unbelievable. We'll do it. Yearlings, every one of them's a yearling? Yes, sir. Except for solid gold. Yes, sir. <laughs> As a deer hunter, I want to know all I can about America's favorite big game animal. That's why I became a deer farmer. Without deer farms, we lose our greatest resource for research and whitetail management. With them, we gain more knowledge than ever before. Join me as we discover the truth about whitetails and meet those who work every day to preserve this great species for future generations. My name is Keith Warren, and this is Deer and Wildlife Stories. So this is the third year in a row we've actually gone over to Divine Genetics. And every time I go, I'm just amazed because within three miles of Interstate 35 are some of the biggest deer I've ever laid my eyes on. My name's Cole Wolf with Divine Genetics. We're located right outside of Belton, Texas. So I've been raising deer for nine years now. We have 23 pins and we have a little over 350 deer. So folks, there you have it. There's solid gold. He is uh, amazing. I, you know, I remember the very first time I came out here and I saw him, he was two years old. And I guess what happened, that was the time he really blossomed. I mean, he was a nice yearling, but he really came into his own about when he was two. And you knew, and I knew, and everybody in the industry knew that solid gold was going to be somebody. I mean, it was at that point, it's like, wait a minute, divine genetics, everybody go to divine genetics, go see the coal. And so all of a sudden, uh, at three years old, when we came back over here and looked at him, he had kind of cleaned up a little bit. I mean, he tightened up a little bit, cleaned up a little bit. I loved his look. And I know people were breeding with him and they were expecting, you know, some big things out of him. Well, here we are. He's four years old now. Yes, and take a look at him. So tell everybody what his pedigree is if they don't know. So he's Kid Rock over Express, over 727. Uh, you know, I think the, those three lineages there, I mean, have been proven for many, many years. And I think you're seeing the results right there. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, what, what is amazing, I mean, solid gold is an outstanding deer. I mean, he is one of the most spectacular deer. You look at him, I mean, he's just gotten better and better and better. So at four years old, he's got offspring on the ground, right? Yes, sir. And you've got some here? Yes, sir, we do. We're going to be able to look at any today? Oh, yeah. OK, good. So, but the but the thing about it is, I, I think as you look at him in this pen, he, I mean, he's still giant, no question about it. But look at the other deer with him. <laughs> and, and they're all yearlings? They are, yes, sir. They got a little bit of everything. I mean, they, they you know, you got some that are extremely wide. I mean, there's some, you know, you've got some high, really high. I mean, massive. Okay, yes, sir. out of all these guys, how many of them were AI babies? Uh, 90% are all AI babies. Really? Yes, sir. I mean, on this pen here, I mean, we, we try to stay, I mean, on average, you know, in the high 80%, low 80%, but each year varies. But mm -hmm. I would say this pen here is, 90% AI. Okay, and naturally every one of them is in the North American Deer Registry. Everyone's DNA, yes sir. Okay, so, uh, you know, as, as uh, deer breeders, we're always looking at trying to predict what the best breeding is, not just the best breeding, but we're also trying to predict, I mean, we're trying to say, okay, which yearling is going to get bigger, okay? So we can look at these yearlings and go, like, you know, I like that one, or I like that one. What is your thought of about uh, trying to predict which one, looking at them as a yearling, is going to be your best two-year-old. Well, I love to look at them at you know yearlings and look at the horns, but at the end of the day, I fall back on the paper. I mean, it ever. I mean, when I look at you know the paper, I look at what the granddam has done, what the mother's done, what the production is, and and yeah, I love to see big yearlings, but I never count out the small yearlings because between one and two, they can make a 
huge difference. You know, we, we've seen that over and over again. I mean, we have, it is amazing the difference between some deer at one, two years old. Matter of fact, we, you, sometimes you think it couldn't be the same deer. I mean, it's, it's that, that uh, drastic. But, uh, you know, in looking at the, at the, at the deer, uh, you know, we talk about looking at paper, okay? And this is important. Uh, you don't have to have a really good memory to figure out the, uh, the paper. I mean, Cole's, he's got all these pedigrees memorized, but you don't have to have them memorized because we have the North American Deer Registry. And you can get on and you can look at, and type in there as a, as, a, as a member of North American Deer Farmers Association, you can go and you can actually look at solid gold and you can see all of its offspring. Correct. You can see, uh, you know, who they were bred to, who was solid gold put in, and yes, you can sir. see all these offspring, and you start doing your homework like that. I mean, I know guys that are on the North American Deer Registry website for hours a day, and you are. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we. You know, that, that's kind of like a little way to, to get some intel. Absolutely. I find myself daydreaming pedigrees all yeah. the time. Okay, so, so you built solid gold. He was, he, he, you built him, and we, you built these deer that are on this farm. I mean, we have have built, uh, Solid Gold was definitely born and raised and built off of paper here. Okay, and so we're gonna show you deer today that uh, were all built. Uh, they were built deliberately right here at Divine Genetics, and uh, the paper we're talking about is the paper at the North American Deer Registry, so that's pretty cool. I can't believe how big and beautiful he is at four. I can't I, wait to see him next year. I know, this year he, he really has a, we love his look. All right, let's go look at somebody. The Deer Farming Channel is brought to you in part by Record Rack Deer and Elk Feeds. Those deer are probably going, when are y'all moving? Yeah, y'all are in our spot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, check this out. It really is pretty cool. <laughs> That's a new little toy for us. It is. Here we go. Action. Action. I've always wanted to do that. Okay. All right. Let's see here. All right. Jeremy says, I love the show and I think I've watched every show online lots of times and just curious how much emphasis breeders put on body size. Good question. We see all the big antlers, but what about body size? Is that even a consideration when breeding? That's a good question. <laughs> what do you think? I think you have to have a little bit of consideration on that. Uh, you know, we're all obviously going after big horns and, and pedigrees, but uh, at the end of the day, we want a deer that's going to be able to tote it. You better believe it. So that's a great question, Jeremy. And if you all have a question or comment about the show and you want to get a hold of me, head on over to our website and hit the Connect with Keith tab. All right, everybody, we just showed you solid gold at four years old. and. Uh, you know he's got to have some offspring on the ground. So this pen right here, tell everybody who's in this pen. Well, we got a bunch of yearlings in here, but uh, one solid gold yearling kind of stands out. Eighteen one ninety nine. I'll say he stands out. Now, it, it, that deer right here was born it, a year ago. Was a, it was born? He was here just as a fawn last year. So we we were here last year. Okay, we filmed solid gold. We filmed all these bucks around here. And uh, we just drove right past that little guy. I mean, oh. he, I mean, that is his first set of antlers. So Very how first. wide do you think he is? Shoot, I don't know. <laughs> he's looking good though. Yeah, he's looking good. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't know how wide he is either, but for his first set of antlers, that's phenomenal. Okay, so, well, uh, you know, in the last pen, you talk about paper. Okay, tell me the paper on him. So he's solid gold over Triple Crown, over Express, over a girl we called Walking Queen, which was Hammer Down's mom. That right there is a stout pedigree. Yes, sir. Okay, and like we talk about the, the deer, when you get to the level where coal is in deer farming, uh, you breed off paper. And that's just the way it is. And the, the, the pedigrees are deep and wide. And uh, when you start looking at these pedigrees, I mean, you can go through the registry and you can actually look at the pedigrees. The more holes you can fill up with, the, with proven producers is the way that you produce deer like this. Now, you know, he steals the show in this, in this pen right here, but there's some other outstanding deer. Oh, yes, sir. I mean, we try to build everything off of paper and, you know, there's a lot of different sires and moms in here. And, they all bring a you know different uh, type of deer, but uh, 
we sure uh, we sure like these yearlings in whole, but uh, you know, overall we, we have a little bit of different flavor, I think, for everybody. Well, see, that's the cool thing about coming to a place like yours. I mean, you've got, if somebody likes drop tines, you got them, okay? If somebody likes uh, the nice, clean, symmetrical look, right there, there you, you go. got it. Yes, sir. Okay, if they like a lot of flyers and stuff, you got it right there. Yes, sir. And so, you know, you can, you when you come out here, I mean, a lot of people wind up coming out here, you know, not just deer breeders. I mean, deer breeders, every deer breeder in the country has heard of cold wolf. Everyone heard of divine genetics. If you haven't been here, you need to come here. But a lot of people wind up buying deer for their pasture. And these are deer that they, they release these genetics in their pasture, not to shoot, give me a break, to reproduce and to make more deer like this in the pasture. And when they do that, the property value goes up Correct. and the enjoyment goes up. When you when you sit here and you think, okay, when you go to a deer stand, would you rather see this or this? <laughs> I know I'd rather see this. Yes, and it's sir. for that reason that if you've got a piece of property and you'd like to look at some beautiful deer and consider uh, liberating them on your place, you can only do that in Texas right here. That's correct. Okay, but no place like Texas. That's it. But if, if somebody wants information about coming out here and, and looking at these deer one-on-one -on -one with you, now you're not going to have anybody else show them deer, are you? No, sir. You're going to come with this he's guy right here. You're going to come with me. And uh, when you come, uh, he's going he's gonna to be able to tell you about every deer on the paper, who they are. and uh, But give them a telephone number so they can, uh, they can get a hold of you and then schedule a time to come. You can reach me at 254 541-4637. You have got some great deer. I mean, and it's all because you built it off the paper. Yes, sir. Well, we're sure proud of them and we appreciate it. And we, we're, you know, each year we're trying to get better and better climbing that ladder. And as I think, you know, we're, we're, we're going the right direction. Okay, so do you have a name for him yet? We haven't named him yet, but we probably will name him here pretty soon. Okay, so as you're watching this show, we don't have a name right now as we're filming it but this show will air in 2020 and we'll have the name of that deer on the screen you're gonna to have to tell us and also we're gonna put on the screen what that deer scores can you tell us that we will okay that'll be cool all right well that's pretty good that's proven production out of solid gold right there yes sir all right let's go see somebody else all right awesome if you're in Texas and interested in becoming a deer farmer you can contact me for deer farming franchise opportunities right here in Texas at DeerAndWildlifeStories.com. Okay, so that has to be Justify. That's Justify. And he's two now. He's two. Folks, we wound up last year when we were here, he was one year old. And uh, we got video of him, and at one year old, we knew Justify, well, he was an unbelievable one year old. But now take a look at him. I mean, he looks like, he looks exactly the same to me, except supersized. He's bigger and Better. I mean, better. he's bigger and better. That's all there is to it. I mean, when, you know, what did he score last year? Uh, honestly, I never scored him. Really? But he, it don't uh, matter. It doesn't matter. He uh, he has the look and he has the paper. And he was born here. He was born and raised here. Okay, who lined up the breeding on him? Well, we purchased his mama from a breeder, and then and then we bred her and uh, to triple crown and. She may justify. So who, may, who who lined up the breeding? See, he's not going to tell you he did it. Okay, I'm trying to get him to say something that he did, but he won't do that. But he did that. He did all this, okay? And so, you know, he's kind of quiet. He's extremely modest, but he's got some really big deer because of him. Okay, what's up in that noggin right there? Because I'm telling you, that deer is unreal. I mean, justify is his name. And all these are two-year-olds? These are all two-year-olds. Okay, so... What I want to know is who that one guy is over there. So that's Overdrive. He's a big two-year-old. Uh, really love the open frame, the long tines, and his paper is, it's all there. Well, the deal about it is, is you know, I like nice, clean deer with a few extras, but he's, he, I mean, he's got more than a few extras, but I like him a lot. He's got a good look. Okay, so um, all these deer in this pen were born in here? They were all born here. Okay. All right, and how many of these were AI'd? 85%. Okay, so as we look at all these and the deer around Divine Genetics, you, you, you're gonna hear me ask that question, how many of them were AI'd? The reason why the AI, you can take a deer that maybe not, maybe he isn't on your farm, 
and you can AI with him and get offspring out of them. You can take deer that have been dead for 10 years and AI with them. I mean, the semen is good for a long, long, long time. And so when we talk about AI success in the paper, okay, it all goes back to the paper and lining up pedigrees and obtaining the semen from those special bucks to put in the special does. But, you know, we're looking at these bucks, okay, and you've got some phenomenal bucks. You got their sisters, though, don't you? We do. And their sisters, uh, okay, it, when you start talking about breeding, okay, how much emphasis do you put on the doe versus the buck? Now, listen up, folks, because this is important. <laughs> the does, I mean, I feel carry 70%, if not more, you know, the production of producing those big bucks. Okay, that then that that's massive. That is huge. And so when you start figuring that, and you know, you may say, well, then why don't we just show you does? Why don't we show you? Does? Nobody wants to look at the does. <laughs> we all want to look at the bucks. But the bucks are the bucks because the does are super does. Absolutely. And if you want to, give them a website. So you can reach me at uh, you know www.divinegenetics.com, or you can reach me at two five four five four one four six three seven. Okay, and uh, I gotta ask you this. Uh, is every deer in the place for sale? Uh, <laughs> you hate it when I do that, don't you? I mean, we sell deer and we, that's our, you know, that's our business. So, I mean, come out and let's take a look at them and see if we can't make something happen. And you know what? If you want to get involved in a deer, they do partnerships too. Yes, sir, we do. That's cool. All right, so see, justify, overdrive, and, uh, we're fixing to show you some other big old deer right here at Divine Genetics. Let's go check them out. The Deer Farming Channel is brought to you in part by New Dart, leading the industry in accuracy. I'm just wondering, I need your help on this. Now these are marshmallows, okay? This little guy likes marshmallows. Now I want you to take a good close look at this guy. That's his first set of horns. He was born in 2017. But the special thing about this little buck right here is the fact he was bottle raised. And the reason why he's bottle raised is because he was born on opening day of deer season. Figure that out. And that's the reason why he's so gentle. Anyway, take a look at him. He's got a beautiful set of antlers for being a first set of antlers. I'm real happy with him, but I'm just wondering, I need your help on this. Would you call this a yearling? Or would you call it a two-year-old? Because it's 2019 right now. You are a sweet little deer. Just another day on the farm. Cole's got so many big deer that, I mean, it's amazing. Seriously, when you sit there and you take a look across his pens, you're thinking almost any other breeder would pick that one as a breeder, and that one as a breeder, and that one as a breeder, but not Cole Wolf. Cole Wolf says, eh. They're not big enough. They don't have the right paper. I mean, Cole is a perfectionist. He wants the best deer he has to be on the market is breeders. It's for that reason, all these other deer that are not breeders, you know what he does with them? He sells them as stalkers. What that is, we call them pasture deer. These deer are gonna be sent off to other ranches and they're gonna use those genetics to improve the value of their land and improve the quality of their deer herd. A deer we wound up seeing last year at Divine Genetics was a buck by the name of Outcast. He was an outstanding two-year-old. But now take a look at him at three. Okay, so uh, who are we looking at in here? Well, we're looking at Outcast in here. That's got to be the three-year-old over there. That's him. Because we filled him last year at two. Yes, and sir. boy, look, he's still done it this year. Yes, sir. He's, uh, he's came on strong, and I love the breeding on him. I mean. He's a danger son over Express, over Heather, so gives a great outcross and we couldn't be more proud of him. The pens at Divine Genetics are bigger than most people's deer pens, okay? Most people have smaller pens, but not Cole Wolf. Cole's pens are big and they need to be big because he's got a lot of big bucks in them. So why do you have him in here with one year olds? Well, we moved him in here uh, last year, Keeper Ranch partnered on a on this buck with us and then we drew semen on him, sold semen and then when we went to move bucks around we put him in these here with these yearlings so that he'd be the he'd be the king of the hill. There's a lot of partnership on deer that we have here. People come in, they're interested in a buck and we'll sell 50% or 25% of that buck to other farms. Uh, sometimes we move that deer and still retain, you know, partnership in it. Sometimes that deer stays here. 
And it doesn't always just be a buck, it's sometimes it does too. So it's, uh, you know, a lot of breeders like that and we like it too. Uh, he's the king of the hill, but these other ones are yearlings. They're all yearlings. Well, there's some beautiful, beautiful yearlings. Okay, uh, 18132, is that, is that, am I reading it right? That's him. That's, he's beautiful. What, who is that? That's Outsider. He's a, he's a great yearling. Uh, he's an express over triple crown over hardcore sister. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pedigree is, uh, I mean, it's one that of the kind. That paper's strong. It's very strong. strong. Okay, now, if you want to come out here to Divine Genetics, Central Texas, just outside of Belton, uh, and see some magnificent deer, and you'll get a one-on-one -on -one pen tour with Cole Wolf, go ahead and give him a telephone number. You can reach me at 254-541-4637. And if you love looking at big deer, you're going to love coming to Divine Genetics. Hey everybody, I'd like to thank you for watching the show. My name is Keith Warren. If you've got any questions or comments and you're watching online, go ahead and post them below and we'll see you next week right here on Deer and Wildlife Stories. We gotta go to the college station tonight. Okay, we got ready? And clip. Action! <laughs> you dummy. <laughs>